Good news is about this football player named Tom Marlowe, who uh, is basically the best football player on the entire team, but he fails an astronomy test, so everyone has to work to get him to be able to play before the big game. It's going to be just a really simple, fun show, something like that the whole family can enjoy. Honestly, I have like little kids, like a six-year-old coming to see the show and it'll just be a really fun time, just really wholesome and really like interesting and fun to just follow along and watch. We started back in like maybe the end of January and so to the beginning of April, so about like three months, two months. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a fun time, a lot of work, but it will definitely pay off in the end. It just amazes me how they pick up the routines and um, we're really lucky that we have Tony Lynn Miles, who's, who's nearby, who's done our choreography for this show, and she's really professional. And uh, so we're hoping that people are going to enjoy that real old-fashioned hoofing and seeing some of the, like the varsity drag, which you really wouldn't normally see on stage anymore. <laughs> I definitely don't know who I would be or where I would be without the Kagenchag music department. Lara just like, she really encourages you to grow up. She sees people's strengths and she sees um, people's weaknesses and she can work with people on how to like develop those. Guys, we don't do any repeats in there. The directing and the conducting and all the musical end, and that's really where these two people, Dean and Lisa, are really responsible for what you see on stage. For the th 30 plus years they've been here, like they've just done such a good job at running everything and it's just a tremendous impact that they've had on everybody. Okay.